Welcome back. I'm excited to spend a weekend with you where we are dabbling in the taking a Sabbath lifestyle. Now, yes, I know it's actually counterproductive to be vlogging a Sabbath weekend because a vlog is work by nature and a Sabbath is doing no work and taking rest. But I thought it would be fun to just kind of share with you bits and pieces of what my husband and I decided to do this weekend. So as you can tell, it's already dark outside. It is Friday evening. It is about 6.30, I think. Yeah, oh, 6.30 on the nose. It's 6.30 p.m. and we're going to get our weekend started and I am excited to just share bits and pieces of this weekend with you. So I hope you enjoy and welcome to my weekend. Oh, hello. I didn't know you were over here, Grace. What, you won't even look at me? Hi. Hello. Anyway, welcome to my Broadway nook where I don't frequently take you, but I wanted to show you who came home with me from Target today. Check this beautiful lady out. Oh my goodness. The lighting in my house is not conducive to filming in the evening, but I have the deluxe Elphaba doll from the new movie Wicked. Yes, I did. And Glinda is on her way. She's being shipped to me. And I wanted to get these because, can you see up there? I have the Broadway Wicked collaboration with Barbie as well. So I wanted to make sure that I got the two deluxe dolls to sit next to them. So I have the Broadway set and the movie set because that's just the kind of collector I am. I also have all of the Hamilton Funko Pops. So um, I collect selectively my Broadway stuff, but I'm very, very excited to have Alphaba and all of her green glory. And it's it's not just Alphaba, but it is very clearly Cynthia Erivo as Alphaba, um, which I think is very, very cool. So welcome, welcome home, beautiful lady. Welcome home. Wanted to show you something else that I recently acquired and it is making me wonder what took me so long. This was $15 and it is a remote control page turner for my Kindle which means now I can sit on my chair with my hands buried underneath this. Ooh, I don't know why I just did that. With my hands buried underneath the blanket, all cozy, and I can just keep this in my hand and have my Kindle on my little tablet guy that's down here and be able to turn the pages from here. And it would mean I wouldn't have to remove my hands from underneath the blanket every single time I wanted to turn a page, which is like every 45 seconds or so. So is it necessary? No. Am I very excited to have it as winter is closing in on us? You better believe it. And even better, it was $15. I'll link it below in case you're interested. Um, super easy setup. All you got to do is make sure your margins are changed so you can keep the little touch thingy on the actual Kindle and it works like a charm. It's wonderful and I'm so excited about it. Good afternoon, happy Saturday. We are starting or continuing Sabbath off strong, y'all. We didn't get out of bed until 9.45 this morning and we slept for nine and a half hours. It was amazing. I was in bed for over 10 hours, but I was just sleeping for nine and a half hours. And then, you know, you start to rustle and you don't get up and all that. Um, but it was good. It was much needed. It is very atypical. It's very atypical for us to sleep that late. Um, but we occasionally give ourselves that option because we're so go, go, go sometimes that our body needs rest. And sometimes the occasional day of sleeping for 10 hours is what you, your body needs to catch up. So we did that. And then we got up. Um, and well, first last night, after the little dinner clip that I showed you, um, we watched accidentally um, like four or five episodes, four episodes, I think, of Only Murders in the Building, which we turned on not realizing that we were like four seasons into this show. Like there's four seasons. I thought it was a brand new show that I had just recently started hearing about. No, it's been around for a little bit now. And we turned it on because we needed something new to watch um, a couple weeks ago. And 
it accidentally turned into a show we really enjoy. We weren't sure what to expect, but so last night we turned that on with dinner and um, before we knew it, we were a handful of episodes in and we just kind of kept going and then it was bedtime. So that's how our Sabbath started, which was lovely. And then we slept in and then I just finished submitting my um, Christmas and birthday wish list to my family because I knew that was something that needed to happen sooner rather than later, especially since my side of the family is celebrating Christmas on Thanksgiving this year. So we have um, the, the gift purchasing time is upon us. I don't know how but it's upon us. Um, yesterday, I also purchased tickets to go see Wicked the movie. I'm so excited. We are seeing it on opening day, although apparently you can go and see it early now. Opening day is the 22nd, but you can get tickets as early as the 20th, but because my husband works, I can't just go on like a random Thursday afternoon. So we're going on the day it opens, the 22nd at 6 p.m. with our musical theater friends from church, which is super exciting. I texted her and I was like, hey, just so you know, we have tickets to go see Wicked this day and her response was immediately just yesterday I told my husband I need we need to talk to Eric and Brianna about going to see Wicked together so the stars aligned and we are going to see Wicked together on the 22nd I'm pumped I'm so pumped so Christmas and birthday list is done Wicked tickets are purchased we both my husband and I spent the morning slash beginning of the afternoon reading in upstairs we were together upstairs reading our individual books which was awesome we did that for about an hour now my husband's playing video games and the day continues i suppose we're having this weird like technically speaking are you supposed to do chores and stuff on sabbath no you're not but then we have things like the dishwasher needs to be emptied and so i'm sitting here going do we do this do we not do this how much of it is a chore versus not a chore i do have a package that i need to unbox is that a chore maybe but if it doesn't happen bad things happen so let's go unbox that now all right so the package on the porch was a wild grain box this is my first wild grain box in a year and a half i think um, I don't know how that time flew, but according to my order history, that was the case. So let's see what's inside. Thanks for being a Wild Grain member. You're welcome. What I do love about the Wild Grain box is that you don't have to order it every month. I've just been pushing and pushing and pushing my delivery away for ever now. Um, oh, so what this is, is carbs. Lots and lots of delicious, yummy artisan craft carbs, crafted carbs that um, you keep in the freezer and then you bake them when you want them and they're delicious, fresh out of the oven. It's absolutely amazing. So let's see what we got because I don't actually remember what I put in the order. Okay, so all of the wild grain stuff is baked from frozen. So it comes mostly baked or entirely baked and then you heat it up in the oven or you get some things that are not baked they are raw and then you cook them fully in the oven so here is what i got this time around i've never tried their sourdough three cheese loaf but i'm very excited by it the cheeses are asiago mozzarella and parmesan there's an herb blend in there it sounds delightful one of their seasonal offerings is the sourdough harvest bread which i also really enjoy this has Pecans, cranberries, apricots, figs, and candied ginger in it. So good. So festive. I always get one of their plain sourdough loaves because delicious plain sourdough bread makes incredible avocado toast, by the way. And then this one is new to me. These are demi baguettes. Like perfect for just little slices of sourdough. Narrow slices of sourdough. So I love that idea as well. And then we got some fun things. I really enjoy their croissants. I think they're so good. They come out of the oven, just so delicious, fresh, crispy, but also buttery and flaky. They're just perfection. And then this time I also have their chocolate croissants, which I can't attest to because I've never tried them before. So I don't know how they are, but if they're anything like their regular croissants, they're going to be pretty good. Then... These are a classic. These are orange cranberry biscuits. So delicious. You put a little bit of butter on them. And then if you have an orange jam, oh my gosh, or preserves or whatever it is you get that's orange and jelly-like. So good, you guys. So good. And then a couple new to me things. We threw in a fall bundle. 
And these are all evidently heat for like bake from frozen. These, I believe, these are, these are, uh, what are these? Giant snickerdoodle cookies. These are raw. So you gotta bake these for sure. But the apple cider donuts and the little Belgian waffle thingies, I believe they're probably fully cooked and you just use the oven to heat them is my guess. Um, Cause you only put them in for four to six minutes. So they're already done, but you heat them up and they're gonna taste like fresh and just a nice fall thing to do, right? So all of this goes in the freezer to be used at our discretion. And it's just nice to have some fresh, delicious baked goods in the house that I didn't have to bake. Cause bread is one thing I have not figured out how to do yet. Maybe at some point I will, but right now this season's not it, so. Now we have bread. Good morning, happy Sunday. Yesterday was a lovely, lovely Sabbath of doing not much of anything at all. We watched a movie, we watched Father of the Bride because we started watching Only Murders in the Building and my husband didn't realize that Steve Martin and Martin Short were actually, like have been a dynamic duo since 1986. Um, in, I've, I looked this up, in The Three Amigos, which is the first movie they did together and they've kind of been a comedy couple ever since. And so we watched Father of the Bride so he could get a taste of the Steve Martin and Martin Short duo that I grew up with. I watched Father of the Bride and then I watched Father of the Bride Part Two, um, more than Father of the Bride. Uh, I don't, I don't know why, but that, that that's just what it was when I grew up. So my husband's sitting there going, "Well, how the heck is there a Part Two to this movie? It doesn't make any sense." Um, so I'm like, "You'll just have to wait and find out." But that's what we did last night. Then he watched some hockey. Um, I hung out, I got ready for bed super early, and then when we went to bed, I slept for a whole eight hours, which is lovely. My husband is at church doing his broadcast directing thing, and I get to get ready for church at a casual rate today. Um, as you can see, I've taken a shower, and with my, um, with my Revlon One Step, you like to, to get the best, which is, which is like the brush and hair dryer in one thing, to get the best results without completely frying out your hair because that sucker gets hot. You want your hair to be 70 to 80% dry. So I put my bonding oils and like my, my stuff in it and then I'm letting it air dry while I do my makeup so some of the water is gone. Um, but I thought I would share with you what I've been doing to get ready lately because I've kind of changed up my routine, which has been very interesting for me, but fun nonetheless because of my skincare, my skin changes. Um, so I'm starting with the Ulta Poreless Primer. This is just a plain silicone primer um, that's inexpensive because it's Ulta's beauty brand, which is great. Now, I'm actually going to do something. I've never technically done before today, but I got myself a new foundation. I've used this before um, in, I don't know if I've used it in any videos, but this is the Maybelline Superstay um, Skin Tint. It is a liquidy, liquidy, liquid. But what I'm gonna do, because I want to use this up, this is the, a very old bottle of It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. And if you can tell, the shades are just ever so slightly different. So I thought maybe I would, so I can use some of this up, I'm going to, put, I'm going to combine them. I'm going to combine them uh, because they both work for my skin. So there's no reason they wouldn't work together. The only, my only complaint about this Maybelline one is there's a, um, I don't like the dropper applicator. I wish it was a pump. I use the Sonia Kashuk liquid foundation brush. We're going to just roll that around. So I wanted to talk briefly about the concept of Sabbath and why we've been doing it. We have been reading and studying the book Practicing the Way by John Mark Comer, which is an incredible book about how to practice being an honest disciple of Jesus. And here's the thing, when we think of disciple, we think of like reading the word and praying and all of those things. But here's the thing, the definition of disciple was actually somebody who was practicing under a rabbi, a Jewish teacher, a Jewish priest. Um, I don't know if Jewish priest is the right word, but you know what I mean. And when you are a disciple, of a rabbi, you be like them, you walk with them, and then you do like them. So you learn from them, you learn from their way of life. And so essentially, what the idea of practicing the way is, is the way is the way of Jesus, right? 
but it's not like, oh, just believe in him. It's actually like, okay, what did Jesus do in the Bible? What were his habits? What was his demeanor? What was his, what were his lessons? But when you're practicing the way, you actually have to practice being like Jesus. What did Jesus do? He prayed. He sat in silence and solitude. He rested. He Sabbathed. He ate with people um, both of his beliefs and not of his beliefs. And he fasted and all of these things. And so the whole concept of Dang, that looks really good. Wow, I'm having an excellent skin day today. <laughs> and that foundation went on flawlessly. Oh my gosh, so good. So stinking good. That 10 out of 10 would recommend combining these two formulas. Wowza, um, that looks great. But so, so we in small group, our small group is actually taking this book and this book has been made into a course by John Mark Comer that is free for um, actual like official small groups. So we have access to this course and over the next, I don't even know, it's probably going to take us the entire academic year. We are going to be going through the actual course of practicing the way together and then reading the book supplementary. And so I read the book, I devoured the book. I was going to just read it as we went and I got so into it that I read it, but we have started, like it brought to our attention oh, we actually have to do these practices. And so we've started implementing, not perfectly and not every week, but we have been very deliberate about starting to implement Sabbath, which is a day of rest. So this is our second official Sabbath so far, and it has been lovely. It's been absolutely lovely. Sidebar, um, the biggest change I've made to my makeup routine since I've been getting dry has been switching, trying, dabbling in cream products, y'all cream products. Never have I ever, never have I ever. And last weekend was one of the first weekends that I actually was like, let me try doing the, this new way of makeup. And immediately I got a compliment from one of my friends. She goes, I don't know what you're doing with like unprompted. I said nothing. She just looked at me and we're talking and she goes, did you do something new with your makeup? Because you are glowy and it is working for you. And I was like, Thank you. That was exactly the affirmation I needed. So I've been wanting to try the creamy con like contour stick for a while, but the ones that I've been wanting to try are really expensive. I've been into the idea of trying the one from um, Fenty Beauty. It's like 30 something dollars. So I was browsing in Target and I found Morphe 2, which is, I, I don't know, a subset of Morphe. I don't know. This is their bronzer stick, but it's the exact cool toned ish shade that I wanted out of the Fenty contour stick. So I was looking for a dupe for like a cooler toned thing. Now, here's what I've been doing. I've been on TikTok and TikTok has been saying that the right way to lift your cheeks is to do something like this. Watch this, watch this. Okay, so we have that. And then I do a little bit here. And then I do a little bit of contour along the, so I'm not treating this as a bronzer, I'm treating this as a contour. And then I'm using, so you see I have it here, I have it here, and I have a little bit up here. I am using the Airbrush Concealer Brush from, from Sephora, which is just, it happened to be something that works well for cream. What I actually want to use, I need to get another one of these, this is the e.l.f. Liquid Blush Brush, and it's, perfect for these cream, creamy and liquid um, formulas. It's $5. I just need to go buy another one. So I've been using this for bronzers and all you do is you blendy blendy. That's all you do. So give me a second and I'll be back. All right, what do you think? All I did was I took the brush and I blended and then up and then down just to keep it away from the places it's not supposed to be. And this is a little orange still. I gotta blend this out a little bit better. But y'all, look at that. Not too shabby, right? Now, the other thing I've been using, <clears throat> I got, I've been wanting to try ever since Jessica Braun has been talking about it, the brand Merit Beauty. And I think it's a clean at Sephora beauty brand, but the makeup looks that she has done with Merit Beauty has been so beautiful. And so they had this little cream blush trio that came out for the holidays and all of the shades looked like shades that I would use. So it's like, what a great way to not spend $30 on one blush, but I think it was 32 for like the three mini blushes, which is gonna be a great gateway into determining whether or not I actually like the brand. So this is in the shade Stockholm. This is a pink, 
But what we've learned about me is that I actually look really good in pink blushes. So I just kind of roughly apply it where I want it, which is on top of the bronzer on my cheekbone. And then I take the liquid blush brush and buff it. You wanna make sure that there are no lines. You want it to look airbrushed, right? And which is so easy to do, so easy to do with this product. It's very light, it's very natural. The way I just said that made me think it's very demure, very mindful. It's just so natural. Like, I don't know how much you can actually see in the camera. It's just so natural. And here's the thing, you can layer it. So I'm gonna put a little bit more, do a little bit more like clown right here, which you can still barely see. You can barely see this. So, oh, the dewy is so good today. I usually cover up my liquid stuff with powder, um, like powder foundation, powder blush. I might put it in a little powder blush to set the blush and a little powder to set the bronzer. Um, let's actually do that now. So I'm gonna set my bronzer with my favorite regular bronzer, which is the NARS Laguna. I've had this for, I think, almost two years now. I got it for Christmas a couple years ago. And I just set just a little bit of powder right where I put the bronzer. Just to help set things a little bit. On the camera that looks so orange, but in real life it does not. I promise you, it doesn't actually look that orange in real life. Um, it looks pretty normal, actually. Let's, let's take the foundation brush and buff this out a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks totally normal. Okay, great. And then I'm using my House of Color pink blush and my new fabulous It Cosmetics Times Ulta Glinda brush because I of course had that and just putting it just over the pink just a little bit just a little bit to make sure that pink is set right and that's that's the face right that's the face and that's really the important part of the get ready with me, right? The, I wanted to show you what I did to my face because the eye stuff, while the colors change out, I do the same thing to my eyes all the time. So if you wanna see a full get ready with me, let me know in the comments below and I'll add it to like the, the list of videos to crank out in November and December. But I just wanted to chit chat a little bit, but now I have to focus in the mirror and so I'm not gonna be as entertaining. So I'll see you when I'm done. All right, y'all, here's the completed makeup look. Um, the sun makes me look really washed out and I have a different, I'm a, this is just lip liner that I lined my lips with and did one of those. So this is just a base of lip liner before I put on a lipstick that is downstairs, but it's crunch time. So I will see you after church. All right, my camera is upstairs. So we're going to film this on my phone and hope for the best. I just went to Target and to Sam's Club to get groceries for the week slash things that we needed to get, um, restocked on so here's what i've got if you can see over there we've got the apple crisp spindrift so good so festive it tastes like sparkling apple cider it is amazing and then the almond butter biscuits i did pick up this probiotic this is the members mark so the sam's club and walmart brand dupe for or i guess it's i don't know i don't know if members mark is technically walmart as well but sam's club and walmart are the same company so it stands to reason that the walmart brand of this would be the same as the member mark brand for this but this is a dupe for the garden of life women's probiotic i recently started taking a different probiotic that was much more expensive and i don't like it i'm returning it it is the one by thrive which is super super popular i don't like it it upsets my tummy and i am not willing to put myself through four weeks of misery to adapt to this probiotic when i know that this product has worked well for me in the past and it is so much less expensive than the thrive one but also this which is the same product is less expensive by far than the brand name one. So I am all about getting the off-brand dupes whenever possible, as long as they are the same quality product. And in this case, I'm going to assume that they are. So I think that was $19 or something for what, a 90 days for a three month supply? Not too bad instead of a hundred something dollars for a 90 day supply. 
I went to Sam's Club primarily to restock our pasture-raised eggs. The price there cannot be beat for pasture-raised eggs. So I stock up and it is baking season and I've got some brunch dishes that I'm going to need to prepare in the not too distant future. All sorts of things that are going to require really good eggs. So there's that. We got the Chobani. We have been loving the Chobani yogurt, you guys. Some of it is non-fat. Some of it is uh, low fat. I don't know if these actually non-fat. Non-fat grape. Okay, I guess all of these are non-fat. We love these. They are sweetened with regular sugar. They're very, very good. Um, I don't know why it took me years to buy Chobani. I have no idea, but they're really good. Raspberries. We're going to have to use these like immediately, but they were $2 and 80 something cents for the giant container. So I bought two and I'm seeing a yogurt bowl in my not too distant future. Um, I'm combining Sam's club and target stuff here. So all of this so far was Sam's club, except for the spin drift. That was target. Um, we got breakfast bread from my husband. He found that he liked the swirl bread, um, more than the English muffins for a price comparison. It gets the job done and it is less expensive to buy this loaf of bread. However, because cranberry English muffin season is here, I bought an extra pack of those as well because he does like those. I stumbled upon this. This is the Zesty Lemon Paste by Gourmet Garden. Y'all, this is in replacement of lemon zest. This is pre-done, fresh for weeks, lemon zest that takes no effort on my part, which is amazing because something that I want to cook either today or tomorrow is in fact going to require lemon zest. So amazing. Love that for me. Um, I'm going to need this combination of cheeses for a recipe I'm making tomorrow, as well as the turkey sausage. I've decided it is sandwich week. And for me, that means pickles for my sandwiches. We got bananas. We got shredded romaine lettuce to help me use up the abundance of cho finely chopped up cabbage I have. So I'm going to make a little salad slaw thing. Got apples because we want them to eat. I need them to bake with and I need them for dinner. So uh, uh, tomorrow's dinner, by the way, same thing as the turkey sausage. I got two different lunch meats primarily because Boar's Head had this new honey barbecue glazed chicken breast, which the old chicken breast by Boar's Head that my husband loved was the all American barbecue and they got rid of it. And so this is like their new version. So I decided that we were going to get some of it that we can share, but because it is a much more expensive brand than the Good and Gather, I decided that we would get half of the fancy and half of the generic. And it turns out my husband told me he tried this last time he was in Florida and didn't like it. So I get to eat all of the fancy barbecue chicken, which is amazing. Um, impulse pur purchase of the day, Elf released what are supposedly Urban Decay Shimmer Shadow dupes for six dollars so i grabbed one to try this is in the shade white hot and i cannot wait to try it we needed more honey for our recipe and so i got raw unfiltered organic honey super excited about that the less processing the better for honey as so i've been told as of late i actually saw that in a documentary i'm watching on netflix about the blue zones they talked about raw honey and how processing it can get rid of some of the really awesome benefits of it we needed more chocolate chips because in baking and whatever, I have run out completely of chocolate chips. So Nestle Toll House giant bags were on sale and they are the only size that I could get the mini size morsels. So I bought two giant bags of mini morsels. But then it turns out the sale price of the giant bags is still the same as the Good and Gather brand. So, or the Good and Gather brand still ended up being a little bit cheaper. So for milk chocolate and white chocolate chips, I got Good and Gather brand. We needed flour. We needed bandages. Band-Aids. Um, oh, 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 <laughs> look what I finally found. I found it in the dollar spot. It was the only one there. This is their little $5 Wicked Tumblr. They have Glinda and Alphaba ones. There were no Glinda ones available, so I just got the Alphaba one. I'm super pumped about that. This is the most exciting purchase of the day. Found at Sam's Club. Collision. My sister had a bag of the Collision ones at my niece's birthday party and i think it was either cool ranch or nacho cheese and taco um this one is cool ranch and tangy pickle doritos i am so excited cannot wait to have them with my sandwich and then more bread we always get the dave's killer bread because we like the bread we like the macros so that's everything now i gotta get all this put away and make myself some lunch so i can get on with the better part of my day so in a bizarre but wonderful 
of course, this is how it happened, twist of events. Last night, oh, it's Monday, by the way, and I'm hopping on here to wrap up, but before I do, um, yesterday, Sunday, I did four loads of laundry. Wasn't planning on doing it, but then the spirit so moved me to get ahead on my chores for today. And as we were doing laundry, my husband decided that it was the appropriate time, and it made perfect sense because we have been having evenings that have been dipping into the 30s in terms of temperature. I've been sleeping with my foot warmer on every night. The bedroom has been cold. Heat leaves my body rather quickly. All of these things means the cold weather clothes should come upstairs. So yesterday, my husband and I did the wardrobe swap. We brought up all of the heavy duty Sherpa line flannel pajamas and swapped out some of the summer stuff for the winter stuff right and I in so doing I put most of my clothes downstairs or most of my shorts and in so doing I put most of my shorts downstairs and I saved just one pair of denim shorts and one pair of comfy shorts just in case the weather got warm enough in order to wear shorts and lo and behold it is Monday and I'm going to go to church <laughs> And I'm going to go to choir rehearsal in shorts because it is 74 degrees outside. <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? But before I let y'all go, I know because I hauled it, I knew we had to swatch it. I want to take a look at this e.l.f. glitter eyeshadow. I don't know if the camera is going to do it justice, but I have heard. I heard about these on TikTok briefly. And in TikTok, Instagram, I can't remember. But all I knew was keep your eyes peeled. And I just so happened to walk by a display of all of them today at Target. They're $6 a piece and they're supposed to be dupes for the Urban Decay single eyeshadows um, that are absolutely stunning. So here's, here's what we see up close. The lighting, of course, is terrible in my office this time of day. This is the shade White Hot. Oh, oh, she shimmers. Oh, I can't, my wrist is terrible at doing this, y'all. She shimmers. So here's gonna be the real tell. Let's see. I don't know how I'm gonna get you to see this. Can you tell that there is a fine, subtle, wash of glitter can you tell i hope you can it's definitely more noticeable in the light of my mirror but um what i know is this based on how it looks which is just nice glitter nice fine fine milled glitter um there was a product that came out not too long ago by a brand whose name i can't remember off the top of my head and it was a glitter stick that just gave a wash of fine beautiful glitter and it was 20 something dollars um uh, i'm pretty sure this looks exactly the same exactly the same so this is called the fine as fleck glitter eyeshadow might have to pick up a couple more shades because this was six bucks six six bucks i'll take it i'll take the win elf you continually impress me i'm just gonna throw that out there and on that note, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button if you're not already a member of our community. And I will see you next time.